relationship already as teammates and we both have our own individual work ethics. Now you put that together, it just benefits everybody, you know. Well, it just brings it, brings it to the table. You know, you hear the phrase, the iron sharpens iron, and that's what, that's what we have. You know, we got another champion in the, in the, in the house. He's pushing me, and I, hopefully I'm, I'm pushing him. And as a group, we're all trying to get to one goal, and that's holding the belt and keeping the belt. He doesn't say a lot of words, but when you go out there, he's game, he's gonna bring it. And Pitbull knows that he barely made it out of that last fight. They're, they're very one-dimensional as fighters, both are the Pitbull brothers. They're a lot more talk than they are action. I don't, I don't think he's losing sleep over it. I just, I know Daniel, I know the type of person he is. He doesn't, he doesn't sit around and allow negative energy to sit on his shoulders. He gets it, he understands it, he appreciates it, he comes back in here and puts his work in, and that's what he's been doing. And I feel his, uh, his aggression, I feel his body, his energy. I'm a guy that goes off of energy, and I can feel it in him. You, you can see his attitude change, his body change, his strength has changed, his, his focus is different. Will looks sharp, his wrestling looks good, you know, his ground looks good, and he's a flashy dude on the feet, so I see a knockout coming. Like, I'm, I'm the champion, I'm here to stay. This is not something, this is not a flash in the pan, this is not something I just came to hang out for a little bit. And I'm a dominating champion. St. Louis, November 6th is gonna be a hell of a show, it's gonna be a great night. We're gonna walk out, walk out of there with two new Bellator belts. We're gonna party, have a good time, and we'll take a picture and cheese for the Pitbull brothers and ask them where their belts are.